Yo, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood comic book reviewer, Steven Savelli, once again, representing hashtag nerd swag, and I'm here today to bring to you my comic book haul. So, today is June 25th, 2014, and I'm gonna go over with you guys what comics I purchased today that I'm gonna review later this week. All right, so let's jump right into it. The first book I got is from Image Comics, and this is one of my favorites. This is Deadly Class. Um, this is issue number six. This continues to be an awesome, fantastic run by Rick Remender. And I'm really looking forward to what happens in this issue. Uh, last issue left off with some fighting. <laughs> and um, continue to love this book. Um, Art by Wes Craig is always fantastic in Deadly Class and one of the most solid image comics out there right now. So Deadly Class number six, stoked about this. Next up we have by Kyle Higgins and Alex Siegel with art by Rod Reese is Cowell number two. Now this is the Chicago Organized Workers League and this book is fun. It's a new age superhero Watchmen comic. Um, that's how I would describe it to people that are looking into reading this. Um, and the art by Rod Reese is really second to no one. It's a really good book. Um, and it's another image comic that is just the first issue was outstanding and amazing and uh really looking forward to reading issue number one so very excited about that next up is another comic from image this week and that is outcast number one this is written by robert kirkman um and the art on this um it's by paul azaceda or azaceda uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but Robert Kirkman is obviously the dude that created The Walking Dead and Invincible. So he has a new comic that just started <clears throat> and it's called Outcast. This book is $2.99 and it is literally like, I don't know, maybe 45 pages, 45 plus. It's a great value for this book and I'm really looking forward to it. I opened up, um, let's open up to a random page and let's look at the art. Uh, it's very Walking Dead style, but colored. Um, that's kind of what we got going on here. Um, very interesting. This will probably be a TV show one day. Um, they can't make Invincible a TV show right now. Outcast, maybe. This might be the follow-up to The Walking Dead. Anyways, <clears throat> Outcast by Image Comics. This is issue number one, A Darkness Surrounds Him. A titled first issue is pretty cool. All right, that's three from Image Comics. Next up, I got Marvel, and I have Guardians of the Galaxy number 16. Now, Captain Marvel was on the cover of last issue, and she wasn't in the book, which pissed me off. But <clears throat> let's hope Captain Marvel um, sees some page time in issue number 16 uh, by Brian Michael Bendis. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to Guardians. I'm continuing to get pumped up for this movie to come out soon. Next week, Rocket Raccoon and Star Lords single issues are coming out, so I'll be reading those, of course. And yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy number 16, pretty excited. Next up is New Avengers number 20. Um, this is written by Jonathan Hickman with, uh, yeah, um, last issue, they basically, Namor started the battle with the pseudo justice league um, in the marvel universe and i'm interested to see how that battle continues in issue number 20 hopefully we actually get some fighting and we get some uh, we get a story progression in this so interested to read issue number 20 of new avengers got a little glare there my bad all right next up is something that i told my friend michael keith my other uh, hashtag nerd swag contributor on our Facebook and website. Um, I told him I wasn't going to read, but look at me. Original Sin, Hulk vs. Iron Man, number one. So it's Original Sin 3.1. Um, Loki and Thor will be the 4.1 through 4.4, I believe. And so Hulk and Iron Man are 3.1 through 3.4. Or 3.1 through 3.3. I don't know. There's going to be a small run of her Hulk vs. Iron Man. So obviously the Hulk found something out about Metalhead that pissed him off. And... This is issue number one of their verse series in Original Sin. Really looking forward to reading this. It's written by Mark Wade, so I would think it would be really good. It's written by Mark Wade and um, Kieran Gillen, who's so Mark Wade was writing Hulk, Kieran Gillen was writing Iron Man. They're working together for Hulk vs. Iron Man. That makes way too much freaking sense. Thank you, Marvel, for not having a random person do it. The cover is really cool. Um, if nothing but the cover, it might be worth four bucks. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. So that's exciting. 
All right, next up is Uncanny Avengers number 21 by Rick Remender. So Rick Remender wrote Deadly Class for Image, writing Uncanny Avengers for Marvel. Um, really looking forward to this. This has to do with a lot of time travel and reviewing this should be fun because it's always confusing and I always have to read this book like twice. But art's always good, writing's always good. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Uncanny Avengers number 21. All right, that's it for Marvel this week. And here's what I got for DC Comics. I have Superman number 32. This is written by Jeff Johns with art by John Romita Jr. So John Romita Jr. is heralded as one of the greats of comic book art. And he finally is in DC now and not Marvel. And this issue of Superman is his first issue um, in DC. And he's teamed up with Jeff Johns, who is DC's premier writer. So we get a premier writer with a premier artist with Superman number 32. If you aren't reading Superman right now and you kind of wanted to get into it, I'm guessing this is a good spot to start. I haven't read it yet. Of course, it's Wednesday. I just got my haul. But Jeff Johns and John Romita Jr., if they do a bad job, um, they should retire because that team up should always produce success. Anyway, what's cool about this is there was a bombshell cover in my local comic shop. I said, no, I don't want that. I want the real drawn John Romita Jr. cover. That cover is more important to me than some random bombshell. Um, but look at this. Look at this spread here. Now that, that is, that's really cool. I'm totally digging that. Um, cool art by John Romita Jr. And when I just opened it up, oh man. This might get me excited about a Superman comic. Let's hope it does. Um, <laughs> I don't have a lot of faith in it, so maybe I'll like it more than I should. So, the Superman number 32. The next issue I have from DC is Sinestro number three. It's written by Colin Bunn still. And he, I don't know. I'm going to read this issue. If I don't like it, I'm dropping this run. If I like it, I'll continue to buy it. You know, some comics can make it through a good or a few bad issues. Um, this is only $2.99, so it's not killing my pockets, but um, maybe I can direct my money somewhere else if Sinestro number three isn't holding it down. I love number one, number two, but I think I'm starting to be less and less interested every time I see this on my poll, even though it's issue number three. That's all I have about that. And last but not least, well, it might be least, <laughs> Batman Eternal number 12. This is our weekly comic book um, from Batman. And... Let's hope that this is actually good because last week sucked. So anyway, so what that means is I have three issues from DC. Bada bing, bada boom. I got four issues from Marvel. Mada ma, mada moo. And I got three issues from Image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got very adult comics. We got some adult themed kids comics and we got some I don't know comics um I'd say Sinestro is probably an adult comic but anyways that's what I got this week so I got four seven ten comic books and I might read some digitally if I get the time but so far that's what I'll be reviewing this week in my staple stash comic book reviews and yeah that's it um if you guys picked up any books that I didn't Leave them in the comments below. I'm always interested in what you guys are reading. And if I blatantly miss something that's outstanding, like last week somehow I missed in my haul Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I had to go get it, um, let me know because I didn't do a lot of crazy research this week on books. This is just what was in my poll at my local shop. And yeah, fun times. Anyway, that's it for my comic book haul. Once again, I'm Steven Savelli representing hashtag NerdSwag. You could hit us up in all the links down below in the description. Um, if you like this video, please give it a little like and vote us up and subscribe to the channel. And if you also make videos about comic books or technology or video games or whatever you make videos about, comment them down below in the comment section. I would love to check out what you were doing. And other than that, Happy reading, bubs. I'm super stoked to deliver my stable stash later this week. So check back. Um, and next week, I'll see you on my comic book haul video once again. Same nerd swag time, same nerd swag channel.